Well, hey, friends, good to be back with you again. Hey, I want to share a, a little bit out of Ephesians chapter six today. And the reason for this is because I know that you and I are going through things that I mean, uh, we wonder what's next coming on the scene. And it seems like we are dealing with uh, sickness. We're dealing with um, economy. Uh, it's just the recession and fuel prices, a war, rumors of war. Um, we're wondering, you know, what is real, what is not. And we keep on seeing these different schemes or devices that are coming upon the earth. And I want to talk about that today in light of the fact that so many of us get so upset with people. And, uh, and I understand that. I do as well. But from a churchly or a spiritual perspective, we need to see the reality and pull back, pull back the the um, the curtain on the wizard that's behind there, and that's what you need uh, to understand. So when we get into Ephesians chapter six, verse ten, notice what it says. He says, "Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Be strong in the Lord, not in yourself. This is so important." You don't, have the, you don't have the ability to fight this warfare on your own. You've got to have the strength of the Lord. So you have to come up underneath him. The covenant in which we came up under by faith, we need to come in. And so how do we, what do we do? We put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes or the devices of the devil. Now I'm going to leave it right there today because there's so much to talk about. I really want you to understand and emphasize right here how important it is to stand in the power and the strength of the Lord against the schemes of the devil. This is a spiritual warfare. The, the Bible says that the church is God's heavenly people. The Bible says in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 that we fight from a heavenly perspective. The weapons are more warfare, not carnal or earthly, but heavenly, mighty unto the Lord, pulling down these strongholds. And so it's important that you and I see the battle that's brewing before us. We're going to talk more about this on Thursday, but be strong in the Lord, not in your own strength. Don't say, well, I'm just going through this. God's trying to make me stronger. Okay, so it's all about you. It's about you. See, you've just stepped outside of God's holy covenant, and you stepped into you, and you're going to be defeated. I need the protection of the Lord. I need the whole armor of God. I need to come up underneath him the blood of Jesus, the, the name of Jesus, the word of God. Fight from a spiritual standpoint. Understand what that means. Till next time, may God bless you. See you guys.